Hi, Rob Damron here again. Today we're going to revisit the e3t.org website. If you want to find this website, you can certainly look up the video on that. We're going to jump back to it, and we're going to scroll over here to the right side, and either under Teacher Resources or Student Resources, we're going to go down to e-text resources. And you'll notice all this great, wonderful stuff about Internet Public Library. Uh, if you have a book that maybe you left at, at, at school, I'm sure you can find it online. And also, if we keep going down, we got support tools, vocabulary support, Spark Notes, which we talked about earlier, but then text-to-speech is what we're going to focus on today. Natural Reader, Read Please, and Click and Speak. Today we're going to focus on Read Please. Now, the value of this is that you can take any item that you have written on the, online, on a computer, and you can cut and paste it into the reader. The reader then will read your document to you. Now let's face it, it's very hard for teenagers to criticize themselves, to say that something they did is poorly done. And we know when we sit at a computer that if the teacher says two pages, we continually scroll down to see how much space I have left to continue that two, sp to, to the, uh, two pages. Now what kids will they'll mess with font size, they'll do all these different kinds of tricks, and then they end up losing points because it doesn't fit the parameters of the assignment. One thing that we can do is we can have our papers read to you. And if when she reads it to you, if it doesn't make sense, then it's not going to make sense to the teacher when they read it. So let's take a sample of, of a student's paper, very recent paper. Uh, one thing is she's going to read the title. The title is Dating Back. So she's going to read that first so, so as not to be confused. Let's take a listen to her. Dating back to blame citizens, kill people, blame all this madness is so insane, the insanity. How fault is placed on another point? Have you ever had someone place and blame you because they were jealous of you or your success? Well, you're not the only one who experienced this. There were millions of people and groups that were blamed for others' mishap. This right. treachery has been described. All right, we'll stop there. Uh, and some of you are sitting there probably just laughing, saying, what is this? Well, now you are just become a teacher. When a teacher takes most of your papers and they look at this, what is this? It, makes no, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And if they, this person, if this particular student would have taken the time to read this out loud to themselves, they would have noticed uh, grammatical errors, they would have noticed spelling errors, they would have noticed run-on sentences, thoughts that, don't complete a, uh, that aren't complete at all. Uh, if we just want to take a look, it said, the blamed citizens kill people, blamed all this madness is so insane, the insanity, how far, we have a run-on sentence. I have to take two breaths to get through that sentence. I, the computer had to take a breath, and she's not even real. So this is a great way to put your own work, whatever it is that you're going to turn into a teacher, and have, let the computer read it to you. A lot of times you're like, I don't want to read it out loud. It doesn't, nothing sounds wrong. You know, nothing's ever wrong with the kid's paper. You know, you read it, ah, I read it, it's good. Why? Because you put it in this little black ink in the right font, and you printed it out, and you said, this is good. Well, you can put a ribbon on the stinkiest pile of whatever and say, it's good. It's still going to be a stinky pile, all right? So we got to make sure that we take the time to listen to our papers, listen to the words. Because if we want our words to write them, if we're going to write our words and our thoughts down, we want them to matter. Thank you.